What's going on everybody? I'm Dory Goodman, the time teller. The bubble back is back. That's right guys, so today I'm wearing my Hamilton Jazzmaster Open Heart. A very cool watch, but who cares about this watch? Today we're talking about my Rolex bubble back 2940. And uh, for those of you familiar with this channel, you'll recall that around the beginning of November, I dropped this watch and uh, actually cracked the crystal. Oh, the despair! It's 10.30 a.m. Let's get down to business. So guys, I'll be honest, initially I thought it was going to be really difficult to be away from this watch while it was going to get repaired, but I found that it was kind of a lot less painful of a process than I thought. I found that I could actually, you know, do other things, forget about the watch a little bit, and uh, now that it's back, I almost feel like I added a new watch to the collection. I have an added appreciation for the watch that I didn't know was possible, and I don't know, I'm kind of in love with it all over again. And when frustrating things like this happen, I think it would be worthwhile to kind of take inventory and reflect on the things I've learned. What have I learned from this? So the first thing I learned is that watches are just things, okay? When I first noticed the bubble back took some damage, I mean, even though this is a watch that's really important to me, it's just a watch. I quickly realized I have my health, I have my loved ones, I have a really fun YouTube channel with the best viewers in the world, and uh, it kind of just put things in perspective. Yeah, I cracked a crystal, uh, but it's not the end of the world. It'll be fixed. We can move on. The second thing I learned is that the watch community is amazingly supportive. So when I first told you guys that I damaged my bubble back, I got like an overwhelming amount of support from my amazing viewers and some other people here in the watch community just, you know, showing concern and uh, looking to help me out and it's just amazing. This isn't even your watch and you guys were so concerned and, I don't know, it made it a lot easier to, to know that other people are as interested in this silly little bubble back as I am and uh, it made the whole process a lot easier and a lot less painful so thank you guys that support. Um, it's just a watch, you know, but, but it's cool to know you guys care, and uh, I am, I'm very thankful for that. The third thing I learned is this watch will remain on some form of NATO or Zulu strap. As you can see here, it's currently on a kind of a classic military Zulu strap. I'm having a 17 millimeter custom leather NATO strap being made for me as we speak, so I'll let you guys know when that one comes in. We can go ahead and throw it on the Rolex. Um, I think it'll look really cool, but um, yeah, I just I don't want to deal with another spring bar failure, so hopefully if one spring bar fails, the other one will be there attached to the strap to save it, and uh, I don't know, fingers crossed, hopefully we don't have to deal with that. And finally, the fourth thing I learned from this experience is uh, this watch is tough, like surprisingly tough. This is a Rolex bubble back 2940 made in the 1940s and I assumed that when you drop a mechanical watch from three to four feet like I did, especially a watch this old, um, I was sure that it would kind of be the end for this watch, but dude, this, <laughs> this is a little beast. I learned that this is truly a beast of a watch. Um, it's keeping time perfectly. The movement was not harmed at all. All it needed was a new crystal that was sourced easily from Rolex and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's perfect now. So guys, what can I say? All is right in the world. I have my beloved Rolex bubble back with me. And uh, again, I want to thank you guys. It's just a watch, but it's so nice to know that you guys are checking in and making sure everything's okay. It's, it's just a really fun kind of support system we have. And uh, I'm happy that I can share these things with you. So maybe, maybe this kind of gave you some perspective. Um, I know a lot of people write to me asking me, you know, um, should I wear this watch? It's old. It was my grandfather's. I don't want to break it or this or that. Guys, you got to enjoy the things you have. Um, this, this watch, again, is older than probably anybody watching this channel right now, but um, it would kind of be pointless to own it if I wasn't going to wear it. And although I don't want to break the crystal again, um, I'm doing my best not to let that happen. I'm putting it on a NATO strap. I'm being aware of how tight the strap is on my wrist. I'm not going to go banging it around, but I'm also not going to baby it. It's a watch, it's something I enjoy, and it's something I love wearing. Alright, well that's kind of the theme of this video. Wear your watches, enjoy yourself, live your life, and guys, I want to thank each and every one of you watching right now because we recently broke well past 16,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. If you're watching this right now and you've enjoyed yourself but you haven't subscribed yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. It takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, 
Click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way. Seriously, guys, we're just getting started here on the Time Teller channel. There's so much more left to do, and uh, yeah, we're just scratching the surface. We're going to go crazy in 2018, so uh, please join me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.